What is up, everybody? It's your receiver today, and we're going to talk about Power World yet again because this game is just making people salty. Not only is this game making Pokemon fans salty, developers salty, but it's also making gaming journalists salty as well. <laughs> really, this guy is a senior writer at Barron's, Bloomberg, all this big stuff right here. That's what he's a part of, but... Apparently, he made this statement about Power World hitting 7 million copies in only 5 days, which is a big achievement. People just can't say, hey, this is a cool, that this game, this indie game is doing being so popular right now. But nope, they have to hate on the game. And this is what this guy has stated. We live in a world where paper-thin, unfinished hack job games look like Power World make 210 million in 5 days. And high-quality titles like Alan Wake 2 flop. <laughs> Oh man, is he so butthurt. An unfinished hack job. Sure, this game is technically not finished because it's still in, in that pre-alpha or whatever. It's not a finished game, so I give you that one. But to say that this game is just a hack job is just so ridiculous. If somebody who has played this game and you compare it to the Pokemon games, this is a nine day difference. There's so much more to do to, in this game than the Pokemon games. It's ridiculous. And even when you compare the models of the different characters, the monster characters, Power World's monster characters look a lot better than Pokemon characters, which is just. Uh, it's a shame. It's a shame when you think about it because Pokemon's been around for a long time. And you mean to tell me their most recent games can't outdo a, a indie game like Power World, really? And then he must say, hey, it's the same that this game is doing better than games like Alan Wake 2. But the first Alan Wake didn't do that great. Like, the Alan Wake is like, um, what do you call those games? Cult classics? Well, it's not, they're not like major box office successes, but it's like there's a cult following to it. That's like that's what the Alan Wake franchise is. A lot of people aren't going to gravitate towards Alan Wake. That just is what it is. And, and because of that, don't mean you got to crap on something that's doing great. Because Power World is a great game. People, it has a huge audience of 7 million people just on Steam. That's not even including the people that's on Xbox as well. Because people, a lot of people are playing this game. A lot of people are enjoying this game. So, I don't know. <laughs> Once again, I don't know why they just can't say, hey, this game is great. It's doing good. Good for the team. But nope, they have to hate, 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 hate on this game right here. So, this is one journalist... We have another journalist right here from Eurogamer who says that Plan Power gives off the impression of playing a product designed to be sold rather than to be played. You will feel like a mark and you'll be right. It's funny, you can take the same sentence and apply it towards the new Pokemon games. <laughs> and I wouldn't even think you'd be talking about Power I wouldn't even think you'd be talking about Power World, but there you go. They're so butthurt that this game is doing well. And then people do some digging about who wrote this article. Apparently, the person who wrote this article is this guy right here, deputy editor of Eurogamer. Um, then his opinion is mine slash my Pokemon. So this guy has a huge Pokemon stand. He has a Pokemon in the background on the banner. So once again, only people who really who are making these crazy takes like this game is just trash. It's just a cheap ripoff. Are Pokemon fanboys, whether they be journalists or non-journalists, those are people who are losing their minds about this game. <laughs> You're so buttered that, you know, this game was doing what Game Freak should have done a long time ago with their Pokemon games. Because they didn't do it, they got competition who was doing what they should have been doing a long time ago. So blame Game Freak. Don't make these hit pieces on this, this up-and-coming studio right here. It's just sad to see. So... Power World had only a budget of $6.7 million. It is shameful that you would attack a game from a small studio with all consider that they're just a startup. Shame on your gamer. That's right. Shame on you. I agree. It's like this is an indie game. <laughs> just because it's, just cause, just cause it's going model, model, Pokemon don't mean you got to hate on the game right now. Like, jeez. Instead of celebrating an indie company's success, you hate on it and spread negativity in the gamer world. Yeah, apparently he's not the only one. Like, once again, you got this Ty Kim fella right here who's doing the same thing. And it's just, the gaming community, and you know, as a whole, as a whole, there's a whole bunch of haters. Whether it be the developers, as we've seen from the other, my other yesterday's video, we got, we got journalists, we got fans of the Pokemon franchise. We just want to hate on this game. We ain't going to say, hey, this game is doing great. We can learn from it to make the other Pokemon games better. But nope, let's just hate, 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 hate. 
Call of Duty skins are the same price as this full game. Yeah, because he did mention a price. What did he say about the price? Being a product designed to be sold. This game is only like 27 bucks or 30 bucks on Steam. You can buy them for 30 bucks and it's on Game Pass as well. So it's not even costing that much. It's not even like you're getting ripped off for buying this game. You're getting a, a game that people are saying that better, that's actually better than the, the um, full fledged Pokemon games for only like 30 bucks. So it's like really. They're really, he's in there really ripping you off right here. That's just so such nonsense right there. Uh, none of which can be said about Assassin's Creed Mirage, right? Assassin's Creed Mirage review, a fascinating new city on the embrace of a classic formula. Well, is it just like a cheap cash grab? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't followed the, the um, drama behind Assassin's Creed Mirage. So I can't say about that one. Uh, there's nothing gaming journalists despise more than gamers. I definitely despise fun games because what is this article? What is this headline? And it's like it's just it's just it's just they're trying to take your money away from you. This game is fun. People are having fun while playing the game. That's all. That's all it should be. That's all. Then all it should boil down to people having fun playing the game. That's it. You either play it on Xbox Game Pass or you play it on Steam for twenty seven bucks. You guys are just desperate for attention. Thirty dollars, thirty euros, and no microtransactions in sight as of now. Do you know the same articles of Call of Duty, FIFA, etc.? Probably not. <laughs> this impression was written by a Pokemon fan girl. Level of contempt gamers have for corporate press isn't enough. If Eurogamer hates it, then it means it must be good. Probably the same people that didn't give Hogwarts Legacy a nomination. These people just don't want to see gamers happy. Yeah. That's like, these people's opinions are just so, just so opposite of what people who actually play video games are thinking. Because people who play video games saying Power World is fun. It's great. We can see why it's selling so much right now. We can see why it's so wildly popular. People can see why Hogwarts Legacy was doing so great while it's popular. But once again, these, develop, these journalists just don't see the same thing. Like, they just make hit piece after hit piece with these different games that gamers are having fun with. Reading your game gives off the impression you're reading an article designed to be clickbait rather than to inform you will feel like a mark and you'll be right. An L take. Fire this employee. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, I would, but these takes are just awful. Uh, worst take ever. Copia much. Uh. This sounds like you played it for 10 minutes and decided to write the article. You even admit you didn't get far. This is not a game that can be thoroughly experienced in 10 minutes. It takes hours upon hours to get far enough to give an honest review. Yeah, that's a lot to do in this game. Pretty disgusting take. <laughs> so no one is agree with this game, journalist. What, if, what are people saying about this game, journalist, now? This Ty Kim guy. What are people saying about this? The gaming industry is doomed. Doomed, I tell you. He doubles down on it. Really. I think you missed the point entirely. This game brings a lot more fun and flexibility to a genre that has been still. It really does. Because if we only been playing Pokemon, it's been super still. But this brings a breath of fresh air to the genre. So It's just sad these, these so-called journalists just don't see that. Why is it so hard for some people to realize that this is all we wanted? It was a fun game that we can play solo or with our friends. In a world where people whine about a game instead of letting people enjoy things. Unfinished, no crap, that's the purpose of early access and the lower price. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the market slash players determine success. Everything else is arbitrary. Yeah, I agree. It's like, you could say the game is just a cheap hack job, but the numbers say otherwise. The numbers say that, hey, people want this. This is what people want, so it's like... These ridiculous headlines aren't going to do anything at the end of the day. Not saying that Alan Wake 2 would have also power, but avoiding the physical format and steam releases didn't help either. Uh, and what world do single player narrative based horror games outsell online kid friendly games? I mean, I'm not shocked that Minecraft sold more copies than the entire Resident Evil series. You have a skewed approach to reality, and this is your point of comparison. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense anyway. Like, you got a so-called Pokemon-style game. It's, it's obvious that's going to be a lot better than Halloween 2, which is a very niche horror game. So, uh, I mean... 
Alan Wake 2 is niche, Power One has more appeal to a wider audience, and it's fun. Simple as that, yeah. It's pretty much Pokemon's a uh, Pokemon competitor, which is on multiple platforms. So of course, it's going to do better than Alan Wake 2. And apparently, Alan Wake 2 wasn't on Steam. <laughs> so, <laughs> how was this game not on Steam? What? That was a bad move right there, if that's true. You don't put it on the biggest PC marketplace? Okay. So... Once again, why are we blaming Power War for the people who made Alan Wake 2 and not putting it on Steam? Like, that seems like that's a personal problem, not a Power World problem right there. Uh, but yeah, people, they're just butthurt. I think they're just butthurt. This game is doing well. It's selling 7 million copies in 5 days. I don't even want to know how many copies you're going to sell within a, an entire week. Probably like 8 or 9 million copies at this point. As the, as, by the way, they're going, so... Yeah, it's just crazy because this game is trending. The Game Freak is trending because of this game. So this game is doing numbers. People are happy playing this game. That's all you can say about it. These these different journalists who want to make these crazy hit pieces. It's like, you are completely missing the point from what gamers want. And it just shows at this point. It just it shows blatantly that you're missing the point. Gamers want a fun version of Pokemon that's, that's more evolved than what Game Freak is releasing. The people behind Power World delivered that. And people are rewarding them by buying a game or playing it or talking about it. So, you guys are mad, but you should be mad at Game Freak. All that anger with these different ridiculous articles and these different these ridiculous posts. That anger should be directed at Pokemon Company and Game Freak. Nobody else but them. Don't hate on Power World. <laughs> They're doing what needs to be done. So, I'm going to include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.